I constantly get questions from people. Coop, can you advise me on a budget piece of equipment for my gym? Coop, you only do reviews on equipment that's expensive. Well, today, my friends, I am bringing you something special because this is the most budget-friendly, functional trainer cable machine that I can recommend. This is the Frey Fitness commercial grade. It's not commercial grade, but it's called the commercial grade functional trainer and we're gonna review it, let's do it. Hey guys, Coop from Garage Gym Reviews and ba -da -da -da, we are reviewing the Frey Fitness commercial grade functional trainer. Now I said in the intro, they call it the commercial grade. And I wanna say this from the beginning. You guys know I like to be honest. This is not commercial grade. Now that does not mean that it's not good. I wanna make that clear. However, commercial grade brings up connotations that this is designed for extremely heavy use. It uses the most expensive and nicest components and it's meant for gyms that are like Globo gyms and that sort of gyms. I don't think that's the way it is. I think this is a Hot, I think this is a good home gym friendly functional trainer, but I don't think it's commercial grade. Now that said, that's all wrapped in this idea that this thing provides a ton of value, okay? Frey Fitness is a company that's been on the block for a very short period of time. I met the owner, he actually came down and brought this with him. Thank you for letting us review it, but he brought this with him and also took me out to lunch. Uh, you know, and wanted to introduce himself, pick my brain, everything like that. Probably wanted me to say that this was the best thing of all time. No, he was actually really nice about it. He said I could be honest. Um, but, you know, I was able to meet him and they have a unique model. His idea is basically they're importing equipment and they want to provide the best prices that's out there. So if somebody's providing a better price, his goal is to basically beat everybody on price. He's like, I don't mind running thin margins. I just want to beat people on price. I want to offer a similar level of equipment that they are, like a Titan Fitness, Rep Fitness, some of those others is what they're going after, but do it at a lower cost. So this is their functional trainer. We've been asked over and over and over, Cooper, when are you going to you know, review the Frey Fitness functional trainer? What do you think about their dumbbells? What do you think about their plates? So I've had this for about a month, a month and a half or so. And I've been able to put some time into it and I think I've got a good idea on it. So the Frey Fitness Functional Trainer is designed with 200 pound stacks on each side. And I think it's got a two to one ratio or so. So it's not quite that when you're pulling on it. Um, but then it's got these arms or cable pulleys. Hey, ho, ho. Is there cocaine in there? Whoa. Need to be sure I hide that next time we do a video. All right, probably my son playing with chalk. <laughs> okay, it's not actually cocaine. But this, they have these arms, these cable pulleys that go up and down on each side, um, and then a pull-up bar in the middle. And then there's this piece that goes right here in the middle, typically that's supposed to hold something. However, this is what it was on. I don't know if you can see this, but there's these two little, I don't know what those things are supposed to hold, so I just left that off and I just left it like this. So that's how it is. But the idea behind a functional trainer, if you've ever been in a commercial gym, these aren't as popular in home gyms because they take up so much space, is that you're able to do all sorts of cable functional exercises. How functional a cable crossover is, I don't really know, but this is the idea. So you can do movements like this, you can do a lot of face pulls, you know, tricep movements, all sorts of isolation movements. I don't really know why they call it a functional trainer because like a, that type of stuff isn't super functional compared to like a squat or things like that. But I think these sorts of accessory movements are becoming more popular in home gyms because the price point on these things is much lower. So most functional trainers cost many thousands of dollars. For instance, I have a free motion in our gym and it's about five, six grand, not including shipping, okay? It's a very nice unit. It's better than this unit but it also costs about five times as much as this unit. So now that some of these are available at good price points, they're worth looking at. The problem is most functional trainers at this price point up to this point have not been worth recommending for a couple reasons. And that's why I recommend this one. One is that they have low stacks. This one has a stack of 200 pounds. 
Not the heaviest stack that's out there. You know, it's not like a 300 pound stack or anything like that. But for most people, for the type of isolation movements that you're gonna be doing with this, rows and things like this, this shouldn't replace a lat pull down. This is for other movements. 200 pounds is gonna be good. So if I put this bad boy on 200 pounds, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna tricep kickbacks with this, but I mean, you can see there's, I mean, it takes some, some pull in, you know, and I'm a, at least a 1200 pound deadlifter. So it gives you some idea on how heavy it is. Gives you no idea, I'm sure. But it's a pretty good stack, okay? The other thing is about the cheap functional trainers that really aren't worth recommending is that one, the pulley systems that are used. This pulley system, one reason I say it's not commercial grade is because of the pulleys. Now the pulleys aren't bad, but the pulleys aren't like the aluminum, you know, anodized red aluminum, nice pulleys that you normally see, or like a made of some sort of like heavy duty plastic. These are just like plastic pulleys that will wear over time. They're kind of flexible. They're just a cheaper part. Honestly, if there was something for them to upgrade on this, out of everything that's on here, I would recommend updating, upgrading these pulleys. If that were done, I, I feel like it'd be more likely to be quote unquote commercial grade, which I mean, there's not like a organization out there that verifies whether something's commercial grade or not anyways, but whatever. But these pulleys are really, in my opinion, the weak link of this entire system. But they're using these nice guide rods like you'd see on nicer um, systems, uh, nicer commercial, commercial grade functional trainer systems. And it's a pretty smooth pull. It's not, I mean, that's one of the things you look for in a, in a uh, cable crossover is how smooth the pulleys are. And, you know, it's not, getting close there, I mean, it's not what you'd find with like a free motion, but it's not bad. It, it moves side to side fine. There's a little bit of a hiccup in there, but not very much any. If you, make sure you put the guide rods, you oil them down, everything like that, it's gonna feel pretty good. But there's a lot of movements that you can end up doing with these that I think often get neglected in garage gyms because cable systems aren't as prevalent. So. Things like face pulls, like you throw a rope on here, you do face pulls, that is, that's has started to be like a big part of the training that I do is face pulls um, at the end of training just to like, I don't know, equal out all the pushing that we do. Um, this one also has a pull-up bar up top, which I don't like just because it uses this slick powder coat. I'd like it to be gritty or, you know, basically have some sort of knurling or something. This part feels commercial in that it, you'd find it at like a hotel gym or something like that. It's using 11, I believe it's 11 gauge steel, so it's pretty sturdy. You know, it's not like, I mean, it's definitely not going anywhere. It feels solid when you're using it. It comes with these, you know, okay handles. Decent, I mean, these are, th these are things I'm looking for. I know a lot of you guys, this doesn't, you know, necessarily care about this, but like these cables, they're not bad. They're not using a, a super nice coating on them but they're not gonna fray very easily. Um, just overall, it's a, what I like to say about this is it's an okay functional trainer at an excellent price. And so that's what I wanna talk about is the price. The price point on this, I believe, let me look this up real quick because I don't wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do this justice. Hold on to your butts. $1,544.50. Right there. It's on back order, like everything else in the world, but 1,544 bucks. So for a functional trainer of this size, now you have to pay for shipping, but I don't think they're making much money on their shipping. Their shipping's obviously not as good as somebody that's doing crazy volume like Rogue, but their shipping's actually not that bad. Um, but so you're gonna pay maybe 1,700 or so for this level of functional trainer. I recommend it if you're in a functional trainer. Now there's other ones out there that are worth looking at. Titan's got a good one for the price point. Rep Fitness has a good one for the price point. I'd like to get all those in and compare them to this one. But honestly, if you just want the cheapest functional trainer that you can get at like the best price point or at the best value, you know, like this is a value play here. Um, if you want a good value functional trainer, the Frey Fitness is pretty good. We plan on reviewing some of their stuff. Again, I don't think it's the best functional trainers out there. that's out there. I don't think that's their goal. Their goal is to make something that's of good value. And this is a very good value functional trainer. I know they're getting other colors and everything like that. If you want a functional trainer, you want a good value, 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't skimp on this one. I, I don't think it's amazing, but I also think it's for the price, it's pretty darn good. All right, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.